Look at the wallpaper. Did I already pass it? Um, right. Yay. Where's wallpaper? Sorry for this. Wallpaper. Okay, right here. 480 by 272. Okay, so I was right. Alright, um, let's just. Uh, I don't have time to really make one right now, so I'll just make it all black. Which, by the way, if, it's, if you make it all black, it's a lot more difficult. So, hmm. Yeah, we'll just make it all black. And we'll name it Tutorial. Oops. Oh, I forgot. Make it white or gray. And we'll put this a size 60. Tutorial. Okay. Tutorial, just like that. Okay, and you can mess around with the background or whatever you want. And then go ahead and file. Save as a BMP. You don't gotta do anything special to this and name it wall paper and save it okay now you've made your wallpaper now don't X out of Macromedia because I think we still need that let's go into the video tut folder I made and the wallpaper the dot BMP wallpaper should be in here right here go to GIMP file new 480 by 272. Okay, click OK. Now it'll make a good size for you. The 40 by 272. Open up your uh, folder where you have your wallpaper and simply drag and drop in there. And it'll load and it's right there. Okay, when you make an all black or an all white wallpaper or preview, this is what you have to do. You have to go to image, mode, indexed, put this to 5 and if not here's my little trick do 256 I always click this bullet go back up here and click OK right now if I try to put this in my theme, theme custom theme converter it'll like um, it'll freeze it and crash it so here's a little trick if you're gonna use an all black wallpaper which is very common which is very common or an all white which is very common go to image mode RGB you gotta click that so you can go back to index indexed five click the bullet click the bullet okay okay now your image quality will go down if that okay it most likely will go down then you go to image mode RGB you go to file save as Look for your file wherever you want to keep it at. I just want to put in Video Tut and I want to save it as wallpaper.bmp. Okay, dot bmp. Save, replace, export. Now, if this crashes my theme converter, then this is kind of sad. Okay, now, wallpaper. Okay, didn't crash it, it went in. You know it crashes when it turns all white and then it's unresponsive and so on now others preview image one of the last steps man you're, you're really close to being done let's go back to this internet site and look for the preview image which is all the way at the bottom right here 300 by 170 why don't we just go back to macromedia and could, <coughs> 300 by 170 
just evade any problems. Okay, we'll do it all white or whatever that color is, I guess. It's an ugly color. That's a very ugly color. Okay. You don't do it black because I showed you guys how to do black. Like two seconds ago. So we'll just do black. Alright, we'll do woo. Tutorial. And then one and then we'll put it like that. File. Save as title two. We'll do this on preview image dot bmp and save it. Go to GIMP, file, new, 300 by 170. Ah. 300 by 170. Okay. Now it's made. Back to video tut. I just made this one right here, preview image. And it fits perfectly in there. Image, mode, indexed, 5. Okay. Image mode RGB file save as preview image dot BMP save it export it and you're almost done guys to preview image preview image and there you go everything's filled out now you need to do your theme color mm, eh, let's just click red why not okay make sure everything's filled out. Okay. Okay, so everything's filled out. Now go to File, Export, and Video Tut. We'll just name this um Works or no exclamation mark Works, and then save it. And if there's an error that pops up, that means you got to fix something in exporting file. If it says Create Complete Completed, you're done. You just got to put it on your PSP now. And uh yeah, so let's put it on the PSP and we'll check it out. Okay. Click OK, minimize it, go to Video Tut, maximize this, and I'll just show you where I made it, it's right here, works.ptf, OK, now let me get my PSP, and then let me unplug whatever this is, and let me get my USB cord, OK, my USB cord, plug it into my computer, my PSP.